All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And, um, you know, before I even, you know, get into the lesson, I just want to make mention a few words that, you know, the spirit, the spirit of war is looming through the air, man. The spirit of lawlessness, all right? The uh, spirit of um, of war, you know, of evil, man, troubles. You know, here where I'm at, you know, you got Jake riding around, shooting guns in the air, you know, just being wild and reckless. And at first I thought it was the police, but the cops, you know, was zooming down the street, trying to find, catch the car. You know, Esau got technology, um, like sound, sound, sound waves, uh, like a sound box on each corner on the poles, you know, so when a gunshot or a certain sound go off, they could determine what it is and they could locate it. You know, they can tell whether it was just a firework or it was gunshots. And um, these kids, I believe they ain't catch them, you know, and they constantly just uh, doing it. You know, right before I was going to start this lesson, I heard them doing it again. You know, so it's like a spirit of lawlessness, you know, the spirit of trouble, the spirit of evil. You know, and that's what's coming. That ultimately, it's going to happen around the world. Now, I have a... a uh, video here from the brother's page. Um, let me see. Go to his page. Measure thou the time diligently. All right, is the brother's page. Measure, measure thou the time diligently. And this video is uh, is actually titled uh, "White People Beg for Forgiveness from Their Black Neighbors in Floyd's Hometown." All right, so you got a bunch of Edomites begging these jakes for forgiveness <laughs> for forgiveness all right for floyd's killing you know for all the racism that uh hatred that esau has toward jake but i'll tell you this this was a waste of time okay whether floyd neighbors forgive you doesn't matter this is not gonna stop all right, the Heavenly Father's will, okay? This is not going to stop the Heavenly Father's will. So I want to get a quick precept, quick. I had a few scriptures lined up. Straight to the point scriptures. Uh, so I want to get a precept that's coming to mind. So please, he asked these three and one. To everything, there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right. To there, to everything, there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. It was a time that you Edomites were going to rule. It was a time that you was going to be superior. You was going to rule Jacob. You was going to rule over Jacob with much hatred. And you did. All right. And it was a purpose for that. The purpose for you Israelites, you know, to go through all this trouble and hatred from Esau was because you went off against the commandments of the Most High. All right. And we're in the time period where our sentence and captivity is up. You can clearly see there's a transformation of power. All right. Esau, Edom, starting with these Rothschilds, are losing their kingdom. Meanwhile, the Most High is tricking them out of their own kingdom by making them believe that they're destroying and they're going to rebuild. You know, and make us into this new, uh, new world, which is uh, humans merged with machine. You know, and they're gonna be gods. So anyway, Ecclesiastes three and one to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And the time right now, okay. Let me read. You know, like it says, verse two: a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. All right. What was planted was you Edomites ruling in your cap, ruling in your kingdom. Now the Lord is plucking you up. You can see, man, you can see it, that our kingdom is near, man. So let me say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. This is beautiful. 
All right. Uh, let me get down to the verse. Verse eight, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Because what we're coming into is a time of war. All right. Civil unrest. So, civil unrest. You know, a, a time where. Uh, excuse me. Phone call made me lose my train of thought. Let me read the scripture again. A time to love, a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. And we're clearly going into a time of war. Civil unrest, race war, nation versus nation. OK, it's going to be kingdom versus kingdom. And then it says a time of peace. A time of peace is when Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds, okay, deliver his elect and bring forth the kingdom here on earth, man. So let's go to the video. I'm going to play this video and Lord willing edify with you, edify you with a few scriptures, all right? Because you eat a mice doing this is a waste of time, all right? This is not going to keep your kingdom alive. And two thirds there that allowing you to do that, that don't have a clue of the most high, that don't have a clue of the Lord's. Uh, uh, who they are as a people Knowing who they are as Hebrew Israelites In particular what tribe Okay They don't even know the name of the Lord Alright This is nonsense man And this ain't cutting it Scriptures speak on uh, It says take balm for her pain Alright meaning take medicine for America If it could be healed And America can't be healed Alright So let's play this video <laughs> Jesus, man, you get the victory. Father, we ask for forgiveness from our black brothers and sisters for years and years of racism, of systematic racism, of bigotry, of hate. On behalf of the white race, of the brown race, we stand in solidarity, God. We take a knee and salute to them. We honor them. God, we love them. You love them. Use us to make a difference. Raise up an army, God, an army from your kingdom that will take action, that will get involved, that will become friends, that will become allies, that will become neighbors, that will welcome them in our circles. Oh, man. That's something to laugh at, man. You know, that's something to laugh at. All right. Now, let me get a few precepts that I had. So I wrote down some scriptures, my notes. Hold up. All right, let's go to Revelation 13 and 9. All right. Let's see here. This is Revelations. Matter of fact, let me go to my other Bible app. <laughs> see. Revelations chapter chapter 13 verse 9. It says, "If any if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity." He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. You hear that, Esau? Okay. You talking about let the Lord's army from heaven come down and make peace. Well, the Lord is going to make peace with his people. The elect of the Israelites. Okay. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Meaning, if you have understanding, understand this. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right. So you Edomites just apologizing to Jesus Christ, which is Satan. <laughs> Ain't going to cut it, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, man. So you're going to go into captivity for all the things you've done to the Israelites. Okay. <laughs> it says he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience, notice, the patience, the suffering, okay, of the Lord's elect and the faith, okay, of the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. This is what the Lord's elect been waiting on, all right, the transformation of power. When Yahweh Shai come and crack those clouds 
and deliver us from the destruction and we rule on this earth all right as the blessing was given to jacob all right not esau all right your time is up man esau time is up up man ezekiel 25 ezekiel 25 and 12 this is ezekiel chapter 25 verse 12 it says thus saith the lord yahweh because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. And that's you. You offended the Most High, okay? And you greatly, you know, revenged yourself upon Judah, you know, because of the birthright. That's what it boils down to. A lot of you people don't understand that. This, this is spiritual, man. It goes back to Jacob and Esau, you know, even before Jacob and Esau, man. Cain and Abel, all right. But we gon' we gon' we gon' say this is Jacob and Esau, man. All right. It says, um, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom have dealt against well, really, shit, back to the garden, all right. You really want to get deeper? It says because that Edom, which are you so-called white people, Edomites, have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them." Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. And the Lord ain't do that yet. All right. So praying to Jesus Christ ain't cutting it. All right. Because that's Jesus Christ is Satan, man. All right. And they ain't cutting it. And the Lord is going to do this. This is fulfilling prophecy here. And the Lord will do this. All right. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and I will cut off man and beast from it. And make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right. And this is prophecy, man. So you Edomites, you know, get ready. Get ready. <laughs> For the Lord to rouse him up, man. Scriptures say, who shall rouse him up? That would be Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Rousing the spirit of these Israelites up, man. Which really they call themselves today the black and Latinos. And Mexicans, man. Native and Seminole Indians. West Indians and Haitians. Alright? The Lord, the scriptures say, who shall rouse him up? And when he get roused up, the Lord is going to put his anger in them, man. Okay? To, to, to take you Edomites out of power as it is in uh, uh, prophecy, man. When Jacob's hand heard, felt, heard, when Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, it was symbolic that Jacob was going to take Esau out of power. Because when Esau falls, Jacob is up next that followeth, as is written in 2nd Edris. All right. So let me get another scripture. Jeremiah 16, 16. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So praying to Jesus and bowing down to these to these Israelites that don't know they Israelites ain't cutting it, man. All right. Ain't cutting it. This ain't this ain't cutting it, man. You know, especially not over some George Floyd, man, when there were many Israelites, you know, put down in the streets, you know, by you Edomites. All right. Let's go back to the time you was lynching us, man. Let's go back to the time when you was filleting us, man. Castration, castrating us. Let's go back to slavery, man. All right. So the Lord said in Jeremiah 16, 16, behold, I will send for many fishes. All right. And who was the fishes? The prophets. Saith the Lord, Yahweh, and they shall fish them. Fish who? Fish the elect. And after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain, meaning from every government. Okay, and from every hill 
and from out of the holes of the rocks because eventually, all right, these elites, they're going to hide from Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is going to, you know, change the men, his men, into these angelic powers. And they're going to hunt you Edomites down and put you in slavery, man. All right, what's that in, um, what's that, uh, is that Isaiah 60 and 10? We shall have continued employment, continued work, bringing in the forces of the Gentiles. All right. Now let me get the next precept. Galatians 6 and 7. All right. Uh, Galatians 6 and 7. It says, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whosoever, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. All right? So the Lord is not mocked, man. Okay? You eat of mice, mock the Most High. You mock the heavenly angels. You mock Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. It said, be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. And all you eat of mice did was sow in wickedness, man. All right? Excuse me. All you did was sow in wickedness, man. All right? From your fools, abominable fools for your entertainment. You know, from um uh 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 what you call, you know, everything that your heart is set on set upon is all wicked, man. It says, For whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. So you reap what you sow. What when you plant, that's what you grow. What you plant is what you grow, man. All right? When you planted wickedness, you reap wickedness, man. And wickedness is destruction. All right? Let me get another. I think it's my last one. Isaiah 14, 21. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 it says prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities all right so the Lord said prepare slaughter for his children and you are the, the children of your fathers all right Matter of fact, you are your, your fathers, man. Coming back, it says, prepare slaughter for the children of his iniquity. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. That they do not rise or possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will raise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right, so... You know, up here doing this act of bowing down, you know, to uh, Jake ain't cutting it. And especially not Jake that sleep, you know. Most High is going to destroy every last one of you, man. Lest ye repent. All right. So I just want to do a quick lesson on this with a few scriptures I lined up. You know, the only way we're going to see justice is when Yahweh Shai crack those clouds and deliver us from these Edomites. Right now, we're still in the hands of these Edomites, man. We're still captive slaves, man. The Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah is just getting started. He's using his left hand, but then he's going to use his right, all right, to demolish the left, you know, because the, the world is going to be ruled in righteousness, man. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.